Hello Chica Sunnies, welcome back to another video. So you might know that we actually came back to our mansion and we finally have a bag and I'm really grateful and super happy about that. And you may also know that I did promise Matilda that after we would actually go on a real holiday trip. So we're going to be going to the Maldives and I'm really excited about that. I'm going to be bringing you guys along with us and I'm actually going to be packing my luggage right now. Also, by the way, Gabriel's bringing Oreo to her nana's house because, you know, Oreo gets really scared going on, you know, planes. So she's going to stay at my mum's house and my mum loves her and Oreo actually loves my mum back a lot because my mum's super nice to Oreo. I actually just got this luggage. It is so adorable. And now it's time for me to put my clothing in there. I have tons of clothes, but I'm not going to put too much, just what I need for holiday. I'm going to pack these pink swimmers, this white tracksuit, not these pyjamas, I don't like them, not for this holiday trip, because it's going to be very hot there, and this. Next, I'm just going to go pack my pyjamas, and lastly, I'm also just going to be packing some sunscreen. So obviously I don't want to get burned. And that's basically it of what I'm going to bring to the Maldives. So if you're wondering about the toiletries, it's going to be out there in our villa, which I'll be showing you guys very soon. And since I've finished, I'm just going to go let Gabriel do it. Gabriel finally came back from dropping Oreo at my mum's house. So now Gabriel's going to be packing his luggage with his clothing. If I'm going to be honest, he really does not have that much. So, he's just going to pack a few, but he might buy more when we go on a holiday. Now he too is also finished, and now it's time for me to go help Matilda pack. Matilda and the twins are actually going to be sharing luggage together. Here's the luggage, it looks exactly like mine. And obviously Matilda wants a teddy, so I'm going to go put that in. Next, I'm just going to go put Matilda's favourite clothes. Next, I'm just going to go put Matilda's swimmers into some comfortable clothes. And also her pyjamas. Lastly, I'm just going to be packing this book that Matilda and the twins both really enjoy. And we're actually finished packing. And now it's time for us to go to the airport. Obviously, I had to bring the babies along with us. And now we're finally ready to go. Eek, I cannot wait. Then I just locked the door. And I finally drove us to the airport. It was a bit of a long drive, but we finally made it. And of course, we just waited in line, but there wasn't really that much. It was only one person in front of us, thankfully. Finally, that person finished, and then it was our turn. I handed him my passports to check. They were up to date and they went, so he checked it off. And then we gave him our boarding passes. He also checked it off as well. Also, I just gave him vaccination papers, the COVID tests information. He checked us off and we were ready to go. Right after we got checked in, we decided to go put a luggage away. Then we went to go through security. I handed Gabriel the baby, because obviously babies cannot go through here. Then Matilda went next. And then Gabriel handed me the baby's back for obvious reasons. And then he went. It was all good, so she let us go. And after we just sat down and waited for our plane to arrive. Mate, I'm gonna get a snack at the vending machine. Okay, love, but only something healthy like that banana or that pear. Oh, but I didn't want something healthy. I wanted crisps or chocolate. Oh, fine. Guess I'll have this pair. Guess I'm just going to go sit down and go with this because I have to listen to Mummy. And the guy told us that plane arrived so then we could go. Matilda and I both wanted to go sit next to each other and I allowed her to go sit next to the television, which I knew made her really happy. And poor Gabriel just sat down by himself. Finally, the plane took off. In like an hour passed, so the guy asked us if he wanted to drink or eat anything. Tilda wanted something sweet, so he got her this really delicious cake, which he was super happy about. It had a strawberry on it, but I just wanted some water because I already ate at home. 
and he handed me the water and I thanked him. I might just want a sandwich. And Matilda ate her cake and she really enjoyed it. And I drank my water, Gabriel ate his sandwich. Finally it grew dark and Matilda and I both fell asleep and so did Gabriel. We finally made it into a villa in the Maldives and it's actually dark out and we told them the babies fell asleep, they're so cute and we're actually going to go put them back in bed because you know they're really tired and so are we. This is a bedroom we're actually going to be sharing and I'll like give you guys a tour of the villa tomorrow morning because it's a bit dark out to do that right now. And Gabriel's going to go put the babies in this really cute cot. Next, I'm just going to go get Matilda's luggage and put her pyjamas on and her teddy so she's very comfortable when she sleeps. Now it's time for me to go for my pyjamas because I'm also really sleepy. And Gabriel's just going to go do the same. Now all of us are ready for bed, so Gabriel and I are going to go hop in bed. I go in first and then he goes with his glasses away. There's birds chirping, so I woke up right away. And actually, I did promise you guys a villa show in the morning. So I'm going to go give a shoot, you guys. It's, no, it's not that decorated, but I'll still show you guys. Here's the bathroom. It has a bath, a shower, and a sink, you know, quite self-explanatory. Here's the bedroom, which you already saw, and the kitchen, which is so aesthetic, and I really like the greenery, and this just gives a very clean look. I love it so much. And the really aesthetic living room, and my favourite, which is the outdoors. Over here, we have so much plants, and a barbecue, an outdoor shower, some seating, a really big pool which I am so excited to go swim in and a coconut tree. Definitely gonna have a coconut tree to them for breakfast. But basically that's it. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and get ready for the day and I'm gonna have so much fun stuff to do. I'm really excited. Change out of my pajamas and put this towel on. Then I went inside the shower and you know just did what I had to do. And I put a shampoo in my hair. Well, Alice is taking a shower. I'm just gonna go wake up. And the babies are still asleep, so I'm gonna go let them sleep. I'm gonna my glasses on. And then I see Matilda waking up right away. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Matilda. Did you have a nice sleep? I actually did. <gasps> I didn't actually see the house. It looks so pretty. I know, right? I'm gonna go make breakfast. Would you like to help? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. I oh, wow, the kitchen's so fancy. Wow, you finished breakfast. It looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right, Daddy. Now it's time for us to get dressed, right? Yes, you crashed. Mm, what should I wear? Let's go see. Oh, those cute overalls. I'm dressed. Okay, I'm going to go get dressed too. Mm, I'm just going to go wear this. Perfect. I finally finished taking showers so and I'm going to go get dressed. Mm, what should I wear? I'm actually going to go wear this blue outfit. It's so aesthetic and so pretty. Ooh, I smell something really good. Who made breakfast? I'm going to go check. Did you always make this? Yes, Mummy, we did. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks absolutely delicious. Don't mind if I do. We all just enjoyed this really delicious breakfast. The eggs were super good. And the watermelon was really fresh and super ripe. And the tea was absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. And Matilda had her breakfast. She also really enjoyed it. She had just some juice and a semi cup and the same breakfast as me. And then obviously Gabriel ate his. He really enjoyed it too. Especially since, you know, he made it. After Gabriel went to go wash the dishes. Now I went to go feed the babies because, you know, they didn't have anything at all. I grabbed Ruby and then Olive. Then I went to go sit down on the bean bag. I put Olive's dummy out and then fed her the milk. I did the same with Ruby. 
I really enjoyed it and then I put them back in the court because they were especially tired from the long flight. After just chilling in the villa and letting the babies nap, it was around like 20 minutes later and now we're actually going to be exploring the Maltese and just you know going places around our villa. So we're just going to go finally outside the neighbourhood and it looks so pretty we actually found this really cool place that Matilda wanted to try out she you know went behind the banana and I decided to go try it out too and I went behind the pineapple it was actually quite funny and really cute at the same time look at me I'm a banana look at me I'm a banana a silly cute banana Gabriel thought it was super funny so he had to take pictures of us now we need to go explore some more. We actually found a stand with this guy selling ice lollies and sausages. I sort of really wanted a pink ice lolly because my favourite colour is pink. I didn't know what to get, so I just decided to get this yellow ice lolly. But Gabriel does not like ice lollies, so he just decided to get sausage with ketchup and yellow mustard. And we just enjoyed the food. And do not worry, we actually had breakfast like almost three hours ago, so we didn't eat like this right after breakfast we explored some more in the Maldives and then we finally came home I put my swimmers on and then Gabriel put his on and then I actually helped Matilda put her swimmers on we were all dressed to go in the pool the clothes were all dry and then we went to go head outside right away Matilda jumps in and then I actually got this really cute bag out and I got my beach mat out and I actually got the sunscreen I told Matilda to come off the pool so I can go put on the sunscreen on her because I don't want her to get a sunburned. Okay mummy. I put it all over her and then I let her go back in the pool once I was finished. Then I put it on me as well because I don't want to get burned either and I jumped in the pool too. Hanging out by the pool for hours, as you can see, it's already grown dark. It goes from the past to the Maldives. Comment down below. Anyways, bye, take your sunnies.